Hey, have you heard about the new Godzilla movie? Oh, you mean Godzilla Minus One? Of course I've heard. I love kaiju movies. Kaiju movie? Yeah, it's a subgenre where giant monsters terrify little humans. Like King Kong? Exactly. But the term kaiju, which literally means strange beast, was coined by the creators of the original Godzilla that came out in 1954. And they were inspired by King Kong. That first Toho film has long grown into a highly successful media franchise. And Godzilla has become a true global phenomenon over the years. Right. And Godzilla Minus One is already the 37th film in the series. They say it impressed everyone. What makes it so special? Well, first, the plot. It's set in 1945, and kamikaze pilot Koichi Shikishima returns from a combat mission to the military base on Odo Island, supposedly due to plane malfunctions. But the chief mechanic, Tachibana, suspects Koichi lied about the malfunctions and simply chickened out. However, they won't get to settle their differences because, at that very moment, a strange lizard attacks the base. Godzilla? The one and only? And what happens next? Koichi survives the attack, returns to the war-ravaged Tokyo, and tries to live on, grappling with guilt and remorse. But due to U.S. nuclear tests at Bikini Atoll, Godzilla mutates and returns to Japan. What about the budget? Here's the interesting part. Toho Studios spent only $15 million on production. Really? The Hollywood film in 1998 cost $130 million, and Gareth Edwards' 2014 reboot cost a whopping $160 million. Did the Japanese really manage to create a spectacular film for such a budget? It seems so. The director even claims that the studio spent even less. And yet, in terms of visual effects, this new Godzilla is on par with expensive American blockbusters. How is that possible? Apparently, the Japanese film industry is fundamentally different from the American one. But the fact is, Godzilla now looks not like a guy in a plastic suit, but like a real monster capable of instilling awe and terror with just its appearance. And the destruction it causes is impressive. Okay, what else? What else is interesting about it? Social commentary. The film criticizes the Japanese government during World War II, has an anti-militaristic message, and emphasizes the value of human life. It's not just about monsters, it's also about society. Seems like it's called the best in the genre for a reason. Exactly. So, it's worth watching.